Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday, and we talked all about the evolution of amphibians when all the sea creatures developed lungs so they could come out onto the land. And we know that there were many different types of amphibians. Loads of different types all roaming the land now. And here's another one. Here's some more of our lovely amphibians. Now over a long time, these amphibians evolved into reptiles. Yes, evolution. This was a huge change in evolution because now the reptiles, they don't need to lay their eggs in the water like our little amphibians. They were able to stay on the land more. They didn't have to go back into the water. So our lovely reptiles started evolving and roaming the earth. They started growing bigger and bigger. There were all different types of reptiles. Look at these guys. Reptiles are different than amphibians, their skin. So an amphibian's skin is really thin, a reptile skin, it's really thick. Here's another one of the earliest reptiles. And they could taste with their thumbs and smell with their thumbs, not just taste with their thumbs. They learned how to adapt on the land. Reptiles were beginning to take over. They were getting bigger and bigger. Check out these guys. I mean, you can see that the dinosaurs are beginning to evolve from this. Now that didn't happen in a day or two days. It took years and years. There we go. Now I want to show you our lovely book because reptiles are classed as turtles. We have snakes are reptiles, lizards, and crocodiles. So have a look here. So these are our turtles and tortoises. These are reptiles. And there's some, I love sea turtles. This is a loggerhead sea turtle because his head looks like a log. This is the female loggerhead. She can swim for miles and miles and miles to find the beach where she hatched as a little turtle. And that's where she will lay her eggs. How does she find her way without even a map? Well, let me tell you guys. The shiny stars in the sky and her lovely bright moon reflect off the water. And that's how she finds her way. That's how most of them will find their way. From the stars and the moon reflecting on the water. These are tortoises. So they're similar to turtles, but they prefer to stay on the land. This little guy lives in the desert. He's a desert tortoise in Mexico. He loves the heat. They can't run very fast. So they have to be very careful that they're not caught by dangerous animals who would eat them. Lizards. You would find lizards in most places in the world, except Antarctica. They don't like the freezing cold. You guys might have seen some of these little geckos on holidays. They're super, super quick. These guys are excellent pets, believe it or not. I know he looks a bit scary, but he's not. He's really lovely. He's called a frilled lizard. <laughs> Here's some more of our lovely... These guys, these can change colour, but I'm sure you knew that. That's so cool to adapt to what's around them. To camouflage. Say so they don't get eaten. Whoa. This is the Komodo dragon, guys. He is the biggest lizard in the world. Let me show you another picture of him here. A better one. He is so scary looking, isn't he? He's from Indonesia and he gobbles his prey up whole. That's the Komodo dragon, the biggest lizard in the world from Indonesia. Here's snakes. Snakes are reptiles with no legs. Mm -hmm. 
They slither along super duper fast looking for their prey. They can gobble up small little elephants, mice, baby buffaloes. They have like 300 pairs of ribs. They can be really, really big. Here's some more of our lovely cool snakes, our reptiles with no legs. Look, he's eating a frog. No, not our lovely amphibian frog. Well, I suppose Mr. Snake has to eat too. So that's cool, Mr. Snake. Crocodiles and alligators. Does anyone ever know? How do you tell the difference? Well, I'll tell you guys. So an alligator, you can see his little, his nose is round like a U shape. That's the alligator. And a crocodile has got more of a V-shaped snout. He's more pointy. Crocodiles have the strongest bite in the world out of all other animals. Crocodiles have the strongest bite. That's cool. So today I'm going to talk about a crocodile because crocodiles are my favorite reptile. And if you are getting chased by a crocodile, don't run in a straight line because they can run like that. You can't run in zigzags. So if you're getting chased by a crocodile, make sure you run in zigzags. Yes, and here you won't get caught. So crocodiles have roamed the earth before dinosaurs. They definitely have evolved into dinosaurs. So it's so cool. And I made a little crocodile. Crocodiles are the biggest reptiles in our world today, but they wouldn't have been the biggest back in the Mesozoic era. There was bigger reptiles than, than crocodiles. So I made this little crocodile from my cool, cool toilet roll holders again. So I used three toilet roll holders this time. One, two, and three. So if you guys want to make a crocodile from toilet roll holders, you need three toilet roll holders. You'll need your scissors. You'll need some lovely paint. And I only had this bright green again, which was a bit too greeny. So I added some blue. Look at that lovely crocodile green I got. Green in Irish is called gloss. So that's a lovely gloss I made for my cool crocodile. Crocodiles have been around for like 350 million years. So you guys, I also, you could have make a little puppet show. Look, I put a little hole at the bottom of it. You can have a little crocodile puppet show. You can make so many different types of animals, guys, from just toilet roll holders. So you need your toilet roll. I'm going to show you. I'll send on mummies a lovely information of how to do this. It's really, really easy. So you've got your one, two, three toilet roll holders. See, Joe put little slits in here. I cut some of the toilet roll off and I put a little slit in to put his legs in and then I used some stickers for his sharp sharp teeth they have the strongest bite in the world but in here the muscle in here isn't very strong so a really strong person could hold his mouth closed before he bites them they have their muscle isn't very strong in there but once they clamp down that's super strong so that's my cool little crocodile and you guys, thank you for the frog pictures. I got some of them yesterday. That was really cool. So that, let's find out on our map where our Komodo dragon lives. He lives in Indonesia. And Indonesia is a gorgeous place. I'll show you on the map in a minute. Indonesia is the home to the largest flower in the world. Look how big that flower is. And it's supposed to smell amazing. I have never smelt it, but it looks pretty smelly and lovely to me. So look at those lovely Indonesian children in their forest, finding the biggest flower in the world. How lovely is that in Indonesia? I also found another type of lizard, Finn Kelly. You would love this. I know you will because you love eagles. It's an eagle lizard. Look at his like face is just so like an eagle. I suppose that's why they gave him the name Eagle Lizard. He's super cool. 
Finn, I know you love drawing eagles, so see, could you draw him, an eagle lizard? I thought he was very special and unique. So our reptiles at this stage, guys, were roaming planet Earth. They were all over every continent, except Antarctica. It was too cold down there for them, even though they've got super thick skin. So let's find Indonesia on our map. And we also have to find Mexico. Good morning, map. Good morning. Who is super good at their continents at this stage? All of you. I know you are. North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Antarctica. Don't forget Australia. Good job, guys. So our lovely, lovely Indonesia, where our super, super huge Komodo dragon is from, is here. Indonesia has thousands of islands around it, but not all of them have people living on them. Only 6,000 of those islands have people living on them. So that's cool. The others are left to nature. I like that. So Indonesia is where the Komodo dragon comes from. And also the largest flower in the world, which I would love to smell someday. Now, where's Mexico, where our desert little reptiles live? Mexico's over here, look. Mexico, it's just under North America and just above South America. So our lovely Mexico is there, where there's lots of reptiles in the deserts there. So good job, guys. So let's do some lovely sounds to do with our reptiles. Here we go. Here's our lovely sounds. Can anybody find err for reptile? Well done. Err. Reptile. Who remembers what sound we did yesterday? Does anybody remember? We did f for frog. One of our first amphibians. That is still around today and they're hibernating right now aren't they frogs are hibernating so let's do er for reptile today or we could do er for rabbit look at bugsy eating his hay good morning bugsy oh he loves being at school he's a best bunny so er for reptile this is how we write er and also er for rabbit Err for reptile and err for rabbit. It's a lovely rabbit. So let's go and make a lovely word with our movable alphabet. There we go. Err. Now, so yesterday we made the word frog. Try and make the word frogs today which means two of. So we've got two frogs here. So there's one frog, two frogs. So let's make the word frogs. F -f -f. Who can find f? -f? Well done. Who can find er? Good job if you point it over here. Er. Who can find a uh, Oscar Orange? Well done if you point it up here. Fra. Fra. Frog. We need to find Golden Girl. Where is she? There she is. Golden Girl. Now we need to find. So we've got frog. Frog, but that's two frogs, so we need to find frogs. Who can find Sammy Snake? Excellent! Sammy Snake, frogs. Brilliant, guys. Let's find something from our lovely box to go with er. Red. Red is the same sound as reptile. Red, reptile. So let's write red rock 
Okay, let's go. Who can find er? Well done. Er. Eh. Who can find Eddie Elephant? Eddie Elephant. There you are. Re. D. Red. D. D. Who can find Dippy Duck? Dippy Duck. It's a day for the ducks today. Rainy again. Red. Red. Now we need to make the word rock. What's the first sound everyone can hear in rock? Er again? Cool. Er. What's the next sound we can hear in rock? Er. Oh. Oh. Oscar Orange. Er. So we only need to find K, rock K. So remember we talked about K being two sounds, clever cat and kicking keen. So we grab one of each clever cat. There you go. And kicking keen. Here we go. Red, rock, er, ed, red, er, rock, rock. And we've made our lovely er ogs frogs cool guys you're getting so good ones. so that's our lovely sounds and our lovely reptiles so now tomorrow we'll be talking about the dinosaurs so it took millions of years for our lovely amphibians to come out of the water and evolve into reptiles which evolved into dinosaurs. So that is so cool. And the reptile I made today was a cro crocodile. You guys can make some puppets from them by just adding a little stick. And we know that our biggest lizard in the world is a Komodo dragon from Indonesia. His tail, guys, is so powerful. He waxes prey which hurts them, gobbling them up. He's fierce, doesn't he look it? And he can smell with his tongue as well. So we taste with our tongue, but he can smell with his tongue. So that's pretty cool. So guys, our turtles, our sea turtles, who swim in the water, still come onto the land to lay their eggs. So that's cool. It was a huge change in evolution from amphibians to reptiles as they grew bigger and bigger into the dinosaurs. So we talk about dinosaurs tomorrow. I'm super excited about that because I love dinosaurs and I'd love to be a dinosaur, dinosaur excavator digging up bloody bones. But we can do that at school when we're back like we've done before. So you guys, would you like a little story? Would you? Okay, I'll go get us a lovely story. And today's story is called A Squash and A Squeeze. Is everyone comfy? I hope you are. There we go. Yeah. A little old lady lived all by herself with a table and chairs and a jug on the shelf. A wise old man heard her grumble and grouse. There's not enough room in my house. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your hen, said the wise old man. Take in my hen? What a curious plan. Well, the hen laid an egg on the fireside rug and flapped round the room, knocking over the jug. The little old lady cries, What shall I do? It was pokey for one and it's tiny for two. My nose has a tickle. There's no room to sneeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. Wise old man, help me please. Take in your goat said the wise old man. Take in my goat? What a curious plan. Well, the goat chewed the curtains and he trod on the egg. 
Then he sat down to nibble the table leg. The little old lady cried, Glory be! It was tiny for two, but it's teachy for three. The hen pecks the goat and the goat's got fleas. My house is a squash and a squeeze. Wise old man, help me please. Take out your pig, said the wise old man. Take out my pig, what a curious plan. So she took in her pig who kept chasing the hen and raiding the larder again and again. The little old lady cried, Stop, I implore. It was teachy for three, but it's teeny for four. Even the pig in the larder agrees. The house is a squash and a squeeze. Wise old man, help me please. Take in your cow, said the wise old man. Take in my cow? What a curious plan. Well, the cow took one look and he charged the pig. Then he jumped on the table to tap out a jig. The little old lady cried, Heaven's alive! It was teeny for four, but it's weeny for five. I'm tearing my hair out. I'm down on my knees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take them all out, said the wise old man. But then I'm back where I first began. So she opened the window and out flew the hen. Ah, that's better. I can sneeze again. She shooed out the goat and she shoved out the pig. My house is beginning to feel pretty big. She huffed and she puffed and she pushed out the cow. Oh, just look at my house. It's enormous now. Thank you, old man, for the work you have done. It was weeny for five, but it's gigantic for one. There's no need to grumble and there's no need to grouse. There's plenty of room in my little house. And now she's full of frolics and friddly dees. Her house isn't a squash and it isn't a squeeze. Yes, she's full of frolics and friddly dees. It isn't a squash or it isn't a squeeze. The end. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little story and I hope you enjoyed our little chat about reptiles and we can look more at tomorrow from amphibians to reptiles to the biggest reptiles that ever lived. The dinosaurs. See you tomorrow guys. Love you.